Let your head go in my hand here now. There you go. Let me have you. There you go. What is going on crack addicts? Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be posting a wide variety of chiropractic adjustments from some of your favorite chiropractors, some of the most loved ones and most well-known on YouTube. So that's what you're gonna be seeing in today's video with some new additions also. All of their links will be in the description. That's where you can check them out directly. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button to the channel and make sure you turn on post notifications so you don't miss any content from the channel. Now let's get into it and I'll see you on the next one. Up next, we have Dr. Gregory Johnson. Very. So we're gonna adjust her SI joint first. So that's the left and right SI joint. Now the sacrum is really important and then I'm gonna drop straight P to A on L5. There's L4, L3, there's L2. Now we're gonna go all the way up into the lower thoracics here. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm bringing your head up and back beyond your shoulders here now. Good, okay. And we're going to have you put your arms and hands out to the sides like this, straight out, facing up. Okay, I'm going to be adjusting your shoulders, your clavicles, and your interior ribs right here. Yeah, these will be a little sore at first. There we go. Okay. There you go. Now you should have felt that in your knee all the way up to your back. Yes, I did. Okay, same thing here. Let this relax for me. There you go. Feel that one all the way up to? <laughs> and my ankle that time. Yep, let's right go on your tummy again for me. Already going to be more even than you were. That's about a half an inch short now. So I know that we still got some muscles tweaked right here. Oh. Yeah, keep breathing. That's my elbow. Yep, that's your gluteus medius muscles. Keep breathing. Now you're only about a quarter of an inch short. And tell me if that felt any easier than the previous one. A lot less tired right there. Okay, good. Now let's come over here on this table. Just keep talking to yourself and breathing. <laughs> okay, just let your head relax. There you go. Now, keep your teeth together and just breathe through your nose. Mm-hmm. And yes, yeah. Just like oh that. God. Yep. Home oh. run. Keep breathing. Oh. Breathe deep through your nose and out through your mouth. You're still kicking. You're good. <laughs> through your nose, out through your mouth. There you go. I know that's tender. That'll take that pinching off that nerve, though. Let your head go in my hand here now. There you go. Let me have you. There you go. Oops. I still got one here. I want you to tilt your right ear to your right shoulder. That's better. Okay. One did. Yes. It's Back a to neutral. Bit there, just right. Bit Take a look in the mirror now, though. Look how your shoulders squared off. Oh wow. And see That's how your hands are more even. It's amazing. This is also better. You're not as high over here. Next up, we have Dr. Scott Mitchell and Dr. Matt Delgado. Up with the pelvis, because that is our base and our foundation. Good. So let's get right on both SI joints, which stands for sacroiliac joints for all you, you know, YouTube nerds. And I notice the right leg is about a eh, half inch shorter than the left. But then when I bring them up, they got perfectly even. 
And this is what we've explained multiple times in our YouTube videos that this basically means that the right part of the pelvis is rocked backwards. But to correct this, what I want to do is let me have you lay on your side facing me this way, towards me. Cool, and you're just going to rest your head right up there. So, and then I'm going to have you bend the top leg and keep the bottom one straight. Cool. And I'm going to steal this one from you a little bit like that. Perfect. Yeah, like I'm Titanic when she's like, draw me like one of your friends. <laughs> I don't want you to look like this though. You're just going to keep drawing. Okay. Until you're right there. Nice. So it's going to be a little bit more like that. Cool. And as long as you don't have any keys in your pocket, we're set. <laughs> right there. Good. So right on the SI joint. Perfect. I'm just going to kind of go like that. Yeah. yeah, it's already feeling a little tight. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and she giggles afterwards. <laughs> Is that painful? That's my good? emotional release. Yeah, that's the emotional good. release. So let me have you go face down again for me. Okay. So did that hurt at all? No. No. Pelvis, or that right part of the pelvis back where it needs to go. So I'm going to come down here. Legs are perfectly even. Staying even. Does that even feel a little smoother when I go like this? Yeah, it does. Yeah. So that lets me know that now the pelvis is back to where it needs to be which means that the nerves are now flowing more effectively, going to all the muscles, tendons, ligaments, organs, everything. Nice. Yeah, right there's cool. And then what I want you to do is I want you to curl up your arms nice and tight like this. Okay. Cool. And I'm gonna kind of just like roll you over, contact the area, and kind of just give you like an extra big hug. Okay. Because everyone could use a nice big hug. Again, so let's see, find that exact spot. Yeah, right there, good. Let me take a breath in. And then all the way out. And tuck your chin a little bit too. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Pretty cool. That felt awesome. <laughs> Say that one more time. No, <laughs> and we were talking about how the neck's a little bit scary to adjust, right? Mm -hmm. That's what you're saying? So because of that, we have other ways of adjusting the neck that are a little bit less scary where there's no popping or cracking. And that's what you prefer, correct? Yes. Yes. Yep. Right there, cool. I'm just gonna apply a little pressure. Beautiful. Not bad? No. So right off the bat, one of the things I noticed in the talus, which is the top bone right inside here, as I'm going up and down like this, it should rise and fall, rise and fall. But it's staying stuck up. So you have a stuck up talus is what I like to call it. <laughs> and you said like uh, you feel like your ankle needs to pop. Do you kind of feel like it's like in here? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? It was right there. So let's see. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just contact that and kind of like bring it down. Nice, yeah. Cool, yeah, so right in there. Ooh. <laughs> Why do I keep <laughs> laughing? <laughs> That's an endorphin release. Yeah. Second so check in. Oh, immediately. I don't know if you can feel that difference. It oh. feels like it's actually moving now. Yeah, go figure. A joint that's moving. <laughs> Nice. So actually, before I even check the rest of the feet, what I want you to do is I want you to stand up and I want you to kind of like walk back and forth right here. Okay. So the combination of those adjustments, let's see how that feels. I feel taller. <laughs> okay, good. So yeah, so you'll nice. get taller from the car back. <laughs> so just like right in here and explain what you're experiencing. Whoa. I don't, it, there's such a weird sensation in my mm -hmm. leg. It feels like, like the discomfort is gone, yeah. so it feels like something's missing there. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. it feels like it should need to pop, but it doesn't need to. Because there's 26 bones in here, so there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, and literally everything released. So we even got a little bit of the calcaneus, which is down here, because that was feeling stuck as well. Oh yeah, beautiful. Can you see this? Yeah, so that's gliding. That one's moving. You never had any issues on this foot? Not really. <laughs> so one of the joints that's often missed by a lot of professionals is this joint right inside here, which actually helps with your foot's ability to arch or create that arch. So if you don't adjust this area, you don't have this area moving correctly, it's going to drastically affect your ability to arch your foot like that on every step. So what I do is I kind of just come in here like this. I'll be bringing your knee across a little bit. Awesome. I'm just going to help bring that down a little bit. Ooh, yeah. that felt good too. Did you know your foot could do that? No. No. <laughs> 26 bones, I didn't even know that was there. Much better. Okay, so last thing, let me have you sit up and face the doorway for me. Okay. Face the doorway. Cool. Let's see what we got. So 
already that's more even. Nice, nice. Cool as you feel inside here. Wow. Guess what? I'm taller. <laughs> You're taller. <laughs> You're fully adjusted. If you made it to the end of the video, guys and girls, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.